Well, my friends, if you made money today going bull or playing any of the uh, bull moves, uh, hats off to you. It was a challenging day across the board. There's a little bit of taco money to be made, but for the most part, shorts were in control of pretty much everything. Bears dominated the day, and Netflix was no different. So what we're going to do now is spend some time looking at some plausible scenarios for Netflix and our regular tickers. We're going to start with a weekly time frame, 231.23. Not unfeasible for us to continue down at this pace. We are getting close to oversold on the weekly time frame, 31.27. So we need to keep that weekly support level in our minds. If we get down there and set a higher low, that sets up a nice monthly equilibrium, which is possible. And we would see that higher low and then expect to get a lower high. So what we're going to be doing is hunting for a daily reversal. There's no signs of it yet. But we're going to be looking for that. And what we need to do is get that daily reversal somewhere over 231.23. Where it shows up, that will be the subject of another video. On the weekly time frame, no support to 231.23. On the daily, same boat. We may have a little bit more right over here at 249.80. I would just call that 250 psychological and very likely to be tested tomorrow. So we'll keep an eye on that. Daily time frame is oversold. Yes, but we don't see any signs of strength yet. So that is what we're looking for, and we're going to try and do it at these areas of psychological and um, proven support levels. So 250 psychological, and then our proven support level, 249.80. On the four-hour time frame, absolute control by the bears, no even attempt. We didn't even get an attempt to EMA 12, and our we <laughs> I'm at a loss for words today. Our RSI is at 1756. On the hourly time frame, our RSI is at 27.18. Bears in complete control again. And for most of the day across many, many tickers, uh, and including the S&P, we just simply didn't even get a five-minute trend change. Bears just controlled everything. And we can see that happening consistently here. Here's a, oh, great, we got a higher high. Did we get a higher low? No, we did not. So hourly downtrend, very much intact. And this is where we start to get interesting. Are we going to get a reversal around 250? We will find out tomorrow. And likely, I think more than more than likely, it will get a, a 250 flush. We'll break that support level, trip some stops. Ideally, we'll hold 249.80 because that's pretty key. And then look for a daily bounce. Even if we have that happen right where we are, we are still in an area to continue that monthly equilibrium, the, the potential for a monthly equilibrium. And we'll just go and mark that out so we can see what we're talking about a little bit more clearly. So high, low, lower high. Now we need that higher low. All right, let's check out the hourly time frame, which we already did. So tomorrow's situation, ideally look for a flush of 250, look for strength, look for conviction in the opposite direction. So we break below, we see bull volume coming in, we get a nice solid trend change, we take out some key resistance levels, in which case we're going to be looking for a break right now over 256.02. We're going to watch out for our EMA levels, and we're also going to look for a very convincing break over 266.60. Should we get that? then we will be in a nice position for a daily trend change. So that will be the nice bounce. Then we need to see higher lows, and you know the story of how that works. Should we lose 256.02 and 249.80 and our 250 psych? We just keep playing the game and waiting for that reversal to show up all the way down to 231.23. So not a lot of major insight today. No, uh, not a lot of hope and optimism. We just got to keep looking for possible scenarios. And right now, it's just all... All bears all the way. So we'll check in tomorrow and uh, good luck to you. Hey guys, Jason here for Chart Guys taking a look at Tesla. In yesterday's video, I identified the fact that we had simply moved so quickly over here around the 10th. We didn't really establish a base of support on the daily time frame, and that was incredibly evident in today's action. We lost our low of day yesterday. We fell right down, and we very, very aggressively dropped to the downside, knocking out lots of hourly and four hour supports. And we still have a ways to go before we hit this daily low, the support level at 219.21. Our RSI as, is sitting at 41.10, so it's absolutely possible we can, can see a further drop to those levels before being oversold. But on the hourly time frame, we are going to be overextended. So what we would love to see would be a flush down into that area, find support, and then look for a bounce. Tomorrow is going to be about bounce plays, and waiting for those bounce plays will be us hoping and waiting and stocking signs of strength 
on sub time frames. So on the four hour time frame, we don't have any support to 219.21. That's good for this scenario. Here you can see that trend, loss of trend, and collapse. Hourly RSI is 20, 25, 65. Hourly time frame going to be very similar. We're sitting at 1758. We have a little bit of support at 20, 220.85. And then again, nothing below that. So not a lot of strength here. What we want to see is going to be probably on the 15 minute time frame is going to be more action. I'd like to see a drop, a flush of 220.85, maybe even very, very close to 219.21. Max out those RSI levels, get us back to oversold on the 15 minute time frame, and then start setting some higher highs and higher lows with convincing volume. We were not able to break the five minute downtrend. What I want to see is the opposite of this action tomorrow on good bull volume showing us that there is conviction in the other direction. Then we will play a bounce and we'll only be playing for bounces, which means we're gonna be planning to take our profits on the hourly time frame. Right now, I would be looking for a profit around, oh, 228, whatever our EMA 12 is. That's a good rule of thumb for me. Get a nice bounce. Look for your exit around your EMA 12. And the first signs of slowdown on the way to that target is when I get out of my bounces. I allow the market time to consolidate, decide what it wants to do after those bounces and look for that price action to give me further information. And that is it for today. I hope tomorrow is more uh, optimistic and uh, the bulls come out to play a little bit. Uh, if you managed to carve out some profits today, congratulations. That was hard fought. Hey guys, Jason taking a look at Apple. Of all the tech names today, Apple held up uh, one of the better ones. And uh, we saw a big range of volatility. The, the candle is very close to what we saw on the 20th, which is interesting. And because of that, I am going to be paying attention to the high of the 20th and the low of today for my trading ranges. A lot has happened inside this range, and I think that's going to dictate a lot of what is going to come up uh, over the next few days. Resistance 222.56, support 217.19. If we break bull, we do have resistance at 223.76 and 226.42. Break bear, we don't have a lot. We're looking for daily support at 220 or 211.07. On the four hour time frame, you can see that we are in a four hour downtrend. We got close to double bottom support at 217.40 with a low day 217.19. So I'll be looking for a zone of resistance or zone of support there and a double top at 22, 222.56. So, uh, not a lot of trend to work with. We are seeing a little bit of an EQ. 226, 216, 223, and then that double bottom area. So again, I will be focusing on this double bottom area, knowing that we've been coiling this spring up for a little while, and that's likely why Apple has held up better than something like uh, Tesla or Netflix, which has seen uh, quite a considerable drop, and we're looking for oversold bounce plays on those guys. Now, let's see what we're gonna be up against tomorrow on the hourly time frame. We don't have a lot of direction right now. It's all about can bulls establish a nice trend moving away from 217.19. They're gonna to need to do that on the 15 minute time frame. And what we're gonna to need to see is a higher low, probably right where we are, and then a break of 219.70. That will have us convinced that there is a more substantial move to the upside and we'll allow this hourly range to tighten and hopefully get a little bit more clarity on that EQ. Um, that's pretty much it. That's what I will be looking for tomorrow. If we do have that strength, we might be able to scalp out some taco money playing some nice trends in the five and 15, and we'll see how that develops. Big picture, we need a clear break in one direction. I don't particularly care which one, 222.56 to the upside or 217.19 to the downside. That's it for today. Hey guys, taking a look at Amazon, not a lot of strength today. We knocked out our daily support at 17.43. 51, which means we have lower day support today. Our next support on the daily time frame will be found at 17.15.25 and below that, 16.72. A lot of momentum in the markets right now. We need to see some very positive news to pull things around. We're looking for oversold bounces on multiple tickers. And really that's all we're looking for right now until bulls show up and prove themselves and uh, let us know that they want to continue to climb to the <laughs> not even blue skies. Uh, these guys, they want to go up. All right, 1743 is our current price on Amazon RSI on the four hour time frame, 2475. Clear four hour downtrend, no signs of strength yet. Looking for a low a day, but you know, it's all about that trend. 171525 is the next support. And on the hourly time frame, we are setting up a little bit of a bear flag 
and we will be looking for a break of 17.35 to confirm that with 17.15 support below. No real signs of strength yet. It's all about this trend. And until the hourly bulls can show up, change that trend, we are just going to be looking for more continuation for the Amazon bears. And that, unfortunately, is all the clarity that the market is offering us today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will do my very best to answer them. And I will help you out as much as I possibly can.